Hi everybody, it's Strawberry Hui, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a flip through of my third K-pop journal. Okay, so I've been going back and forth on whether I wanted to be done with this journal. I mean, it's getting pretty thick. Um, it's getting to the point that it's hard to open it up. And honestly, I just kind of want a fresh start. Um, if you've been watching my videos recently, you know that I just moved. And I have, other than my um, apartment tour, I haven't filmed any videos since I moved here, which I've been here for um almost two months now and i've just been like settling in and things at work have been kind of crazy so i want i need to get back into journaling because it is just like cathartic for me i love doing it and i need to make time for it um so i just think that i'm gonna do like a fresh start start a new journal um and because of that, I'm gonna go ahead and do my flip through of this journal. So, so far, this is my third K-pop journal. And usually they can last me about a year, like almost exactly, it's worked out that way. Um, I think my first one, I didn't start until partway through the year and then um, I finished it at the very end of the year. And then my second one pretty much lasted me all of last year and then i started this one so so far it's been like 2019 bullet journal flip through 2020 bullet journal flip through um but this one obviously did not make it very long <laughs> um maybe not even halfway through the year um i guess i just had a lot to journal about this year um or maybe some of the spreads are a little thicker so uh, this is just my third k-pop journal flip through um yeah so let's get started um, so the cover says Barahe, which if you're an army, you know that that means I purple you. Um, so yeah, I wanted like a simple design on the cover of this one. Uh, my one from last time had like a bunch of stickers and stuff on it. So I just thought this would be pretty, especially because I have a cricket now. So, well, I've had it for a while, but I hadn't since I started the last journal. So, so let's get started. Um, so this is my index, which I probably actually will go through and add, just like write all of the spreads down. My very first journal, I didn't do that because I had messed up like the first couple pages. So I actually ripped these out. But last time I did um, just, I didn't like number pages, but I just like wrote down each spread that was in there. So I probably will go in and do that eventually. So this is my welcome spread, which I feel like I just made, which technically I did because I started in November, which I guess that's been like half of a year. So, okay. <laughs> it hasn't been as or like close as I thought it was. So anyways, this is my welcome spread. I just wanted to do something kind of cool and fun and I like these pictures of Xi'an, so my welcome spread and then the very first spreads I did which I did not film these and I don't think I posted them either to Instagram are the BTS week on the late show with Jimmy Fallon so this spread was intense especially to be the first spread in my bullet journal um but I really wanted to chronicle this week because it was really iconic and really cool so yeah so I did these flip pages so here is like the cover page bts week um and i i did pretty well about dating my spreads in this one um so night one they performed dynamite with the roots and um they performed idol and then i wrote underneath here and then you open it up um i don't know if you can see this all on camera so i'm gonna scoot this way <laughs> okay so here's night two um i wanted to put john cena in here because he's just he always sings bts and army's praises so he was on there so i did like a little quote of what he said about bts um then i wrote about it under here and they performed home which in my eyes this is the official home music video now so yeah and then on night three they did the virtual interview and they performed black swan which was gorgeous like low key i feel like i should have done now looking back on it i should have done full spreads for these performances especially 
the black swan and home because they're so beautiful but i don't know i just i wanted to have this all together maybe one day i will do like a full spread for those because they were so good and then scooting down oops um night four was the zoom olympics uh which was super funny and then uh they performed i think microcosmos is what they performed here um yeah microcosmos and it was beautiful and yeah so and then the last night of course they did dynamite which this was really fun too it was like an like a roller skating rink so and then yeah so that's my bts week on the late show with jimmy fallon um here is a welcome back spread for Yannon because he came back from China and um, was back together with Pentagon. He posted on October 1st that he was officially back. So like I was a little late making this spread, but I just wanted to like chronicle him coming back and posting these pictures, which is like so exciting because we miss him so much. So, so glad that he's back. Um, this is my Savage Love spread um, because they didn't really have like a music video and they didn't really perform it other than Jungkook posting that video of him singing it, which I might have made the spread before he posted that video, I'm not sure. So yeah, I just did some screenshots from the lyric video. And then this is my spread from After the Soul 1, which is also like, delayed <laughs> because uh this was in early like mid-october which was really exciting because actually the first concert night was on my birthday and i was in atlanta with my best friend because we originally were supposed to go to disney world but because um we couldn't i mean we could have but we just didn't want to with covid so instead i just went down there and did like a staycation in their house um so yeah which I did a, sp a video on this. Um, so this is the scene version of Pentagon's We TH album. And I love this spread. I really, really love the spreads that I did for these two versions. Um, it's like for the concept photos. And I just really love these spreads. Like, I mean, the photos are gorgeous. And I think that helps a lot. I just think these turned out really, really pretty. And then here is the unseen version, which I just think looks really cool too. I like the little line art that I printed off. I just think it's really cool and it went really well with the concept photos. So yeah. And then here is my spread for the album itself um, for the songs. And so this is the track list. And um, then I just wrote my thoughts. And, and this time, instead of like separating it by song, which I do a lot, I just wrote like all my thoughts about the album as a whole and like which songs I like the most and things like that. Just because sometimes I like to do the separating my songs so that I get a chance to talk about each song. But also sometimes I just don't have as much to say about certain songs and then I almost feel guilty. <laughs> so this way it's just like I can talk about what I want to talk about and I don't feel like pressured to say certain things about certain songs if that makes sense. I mean all the songs are great but you get it. And this is my spread for Daisy. The spread, I mean, I do, I do like it now, but it was kind of hard to do because of the colors. Like this music video has so, like a, doesn't have a solid color scheme. Like there's just a lot going on. So sometimes that makes spreads hard because like it's hard to pick a color scheme for it. But yeah, the music video is gorgeous though. Um, so here's my spread for Jimin's birthday, which again, a lot of these spreads were delayed. <laughs> um, and I did what I've been doing where I wrote him like a letter and then sealed it in here. So it's not, it's very personal. Um, and maybe I'll take them out and read them one day. I almost always cry when I do this. <laughs> so they're very personal between me and him. I say that like he's going to read it, but you get it. Um, it's just very personal feelings and things that I want to say to him. Um, and then this is my spread for Handong coming back. Again, so excited that she came back from China and was reunited with Dreamcatcher. And I just wanted to do a spread for that as well. 
Here's my spread for Pentagon's first win. Um, most of you probably know that I've been a universe for um, going on for almost three years now. So a really long time and I love them a lot. So it was really exciting to see them finally achieve this goal that they totally deserve. So yeah. Um, this I did a little spread just like for Yoongi get well soon because he had um, surgery on his shoulder and I just wanted to, you know, this is sort of my, you know, a lot of people did like um, fan art and stuff like that. So this is sort of like my way to post and, you know, I mean, he's better now, but you get it. So this is my spread for Mini Sewed One Blue Hour, which I freaking love these concept photos. They are just so good. Like TXT text is so amazing. Like I just am so obsessed with these concept photos. So I also printed off some other little things that I felt went with it. I really love this lettering that I did and I just did it straight onto the paper instead of cutting it out, which is kind of refreshing. I used to do that in my bullet journals a lot. So it was kind of fun to do it that way. And yeah, I freaking love this album. I love, love their music so much. Like they make such good music. I just can't get over it. Anyways, moving on to my blue hour spread, which I do not love. I feel like I didn't do this, this music video justice at all. I just really, I just don't like the spread. I don't know what I was going for. I don't know what I was doing. I just kind of hate it. <laughs> Love the song though. Love it so much. Don't love the spread. <laughs> um, this is my spread for I Can't Stop Me. Yes, I know that it's I Can't Stop Me and I just put Can't Stop Me. Maybe eventually I'll fix it. I don't know. But anyways, obsessed with this song. Literally listened to it on repeat for like the first half of the year. I It's so good. I love it so much. I love the choreo and yeah. I like the spread a lot too. I like the, the pictures that I chose. Also, I don't know if I said this in this video, but Nyan is definitely my bias. I have decided 100% Nyan is my bias. <laughs> this is, oh, my love kill a spread. Um, yeah, I don't talk about Monster X a lot because I'm not like a stan, um, but I do like them. I think that they're cool guys and I think they're funny and sweet. Their music is a little hit or miss for me. It's just a personal taste thing. Um, but I really liked this music video. So I wanted to do a spread for it. Um, here are my spreads for the B concept photos. Um, I just wanted to kind of write down my thoughts about all of them since they were so personal to each member. So I just did a little spread um, for each one of those. Um, here's my no more spread. This was really fun to do because I really love like anime spreads, like the people that do like the anime journals and stuff I think are so aesthetic. And so it was really fun to sort of do like almost that sort of style on a spread. Um, but yeah, I just want Dreamcatcher to do an anime so bad. Like I want them to create one. Like I want them to be anime characters. I just think that would be so cool. I know that's a long shot, but it would be cool. Here's my life goes on spread. I actually really love this spread a lot. Like it's very simple, but I just really like it. I love the lettering I feel like turned out really good, even though again, it's really simple. It's just black lettering, but I don't know, something about this spread I just really like. It's just really encapsulates the song and the music video for me. I don't know, I just really like it. And here is my B uh, album spread obviously i had a lot to say <laughs> about this album and the songs on it um yeah this this album was really really meaningful for me i think a lot of army can resonate with that um as well as bts themselves so i just had a lot to say <laughs> obviously <laughs> okay so now we're starting to get into some award season spreads um we get more into that towards the end too but Here's at BTS at the AMAs. These are more like Western um, things. And then this is them on Good Morning America or when they were promoting Dynamite still. This was really fun. And then this was the Late Late Show with James Corden. Um, and they did a couple of different performances. I really, really loved this Dynamite Holiday Remix. Perf or no, I'm sorry. 
the life goes on and then it's, what am I talking about? I really like this life goes on performance with the Christmas stuff. I just love Christmas, so it was fun. And then they transitioned into Dynamite and this was fun. I just think that even though they performed Dynamite so much, they just did it differently every time. Like it just, it never got old. Like they are just so, they're just such amazing performers. Uh, so here I just did a little spread um, because Dreamcatcher came on Weavers, which just, I don't know, it's not that big of a deal, but just the fact that like BTS are on Weavers and it was like, you know, a big hit thing and now Dreamcatcher is on there and I just thought that was kind of cool. So I just did a little spread to sort of like celebrate Dreamcatcher coming onto Weavers. I really hope that they start using Weaver Shop soon for merch and stuff like that. So yeah, that was just fun. Um, and then <laughs> here's my spread for the Grammy nomination. I had to put this down in a spread. Obviously it's an iconic moment to be remembered for all of time. <laughs> um, so yeah. Oh, these are fun. Okay, so I did not film these even though I really love them. Um, these are my like Weavers magazine spreads that they did where they did the interviews um, for B and like the comeback interviews and they did each member and like they released each member um, every day. I think it was every day they did a new one. I can't remember. But and so I but I didn't want to do uh like a bunch of journaling because i really just wanted to get down the pictures like i wanted these to be focused on the pictures because they are amazing so instead of journaling what i did was um i did like the title quote that each member had and then i picked little parts of the interview like quotes of things that they said that either i really resonated with or i really loved and i put those on there instead so instead of journaling i just like picked out parts of the interview that I really liked and put them in there. Just because there it was so much and I really wanted to be able to showcase the pictures, but I didn't I didn't have the time or space to do like a full two-page spread for each member. So, yeah. But I I freaking love these. I think they turned out so good. Um so I have my Jimin one and my Hobie one. And then Tay and uh, the, a lot of these made me cry, like the interviews. And then Jen, and some of them I have more than others. Like I really picked out things where they talked about ARMY or just like things that were meaningful to them. And then Jungkook's and June's. And I tried to make them kind of different, but like still cohesive, if that makes sense. And then they did Yoongi's later. So I had like left um, a space for his and then went back and added his in so that they would all be together um I think his, yeah his is in January and theirs had been in November so I had left this page blank so that I could come back and add him in because it said like coming soon he would have one so yeah so here I have life goes on goes number one again a really simple spread that I don't think I posted just to celebrate that we got their Korean track to number one which is really awesome and they deserve it, so it's exciting. Um, I was really excited about this. Again, I did a video for this one, but I was really excited for them to be on the Disney holiday sing-along. I love Disney and my mom, and I always watch the sing-along, so I was really excited that they were gonna be on it. It was so fun and so cute, and they did such a great job. Yeah, this one was really fun. I really love this a lot. This makes me miss Christmas time, and it's only May. <laughs> Um, so here's my Jin Day spread. Again, I did the same thing. I put a little note in there and th I did the same thing for Tay. Like I put a little letter in there for him. Just, just kind of personal how I feel connected to him. You know, you get it. You get it. I know that I feel like I'm digging myself into a deeper hole. Someone's going to call me delusional, but you get what I'm trying to say. Okay, now now this is award season. Here we go. <laughs> so here's the Melon Music Awards. These were so hard to do because 
there's just so much like they do so many performances and it's just a lot of pictures so i had to do a dutch door spread so that i'd have room to talk about it and add in all the pictures that i wanted these performances were amazing and then we had mama also amazing performances Hulkram, yoongi come on like iconic and then i also listed all of their awards i did it on this one too and i had to add this in because i was in marching band so I just could really appreciate a good marching band formation. So I had to add that in there. <laughs> um, okay, so this is Pentagon's live online concert, uh, which was really fun. Um, my mom's dog, I mean, he's like our family dog, but obviously he lives with my mom because this is when I was still living with my mom, uh, watched it with me. So I added a picture of him and uh, Jean Ho was in the chat <laughs> while, because he um, enlisted, so he was in the chat watching with us, and yeah, it was a really fun concert. Okay, here's the Golden Disc Awards. Um, again, some really fun and innovative performances. Blonde Jungkook showed up that we were not expecting. Um, yeah, iconic as well. So, the little mini music videos were cool oh i really love the spread so this is my odd eye spread or dream catcher and oh, they make their music videos are so like they just keep getting better like the production quality is just getting better and better i mean they were always amazing and now they're just like phenomenal and i am obsessed i love this music video a lot it was super cool in the song and then this is my dystopia road to utopia spread it's a very stark contrast considering odd eye is the title track um but i really love these concept photos and i wanted to use them and i feel like sometimes it gets repetitive when like the title track looks exactly the title track spread looks almost exactly the same as the spread for the album like sometimes that's cool because you can tell that they go together but i don't know i just thought it'd be cool to do it a little bit differently and then I did a Yudo Day birthday spread, a Kino Day birthday spread, um, Wusak Day and Gaiyan Day. And that is the last that I have done. So yeah, that was in February. And that's the last time that I have journaled, which is really sad. And I don't want it to be like that. I need to get back into it. And you guys need to hold me accountable, okay? like bully me into continuing to journal because i want to i just like have other things going on and work can be really exhausting and then i get home and i just want to sit there and do nothing which sometimes you need that but like i don't know i need to do the other hobbies that make me happy other than work so i'm gonna do it i'm gonna i'm gonna do it i'm gonna start my new journal um that might be my next video but i also have a couple of reading journal videos that i recorded a long time ago that i never edited and put up so those might come first i don't know i really want to get my new journal started this week so stay tuned for that i have a couple of spreads planned already i'm really excited to get back into it i miss posting videos for you guys and interacting with you guys so I'm gonna get it, I promise. I'm sorry, I am mentally ill. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I know that people seem to enjoy the flip through videos and they're really fun for me to like go back and look at the spreads that I did. So, and it kind of like inspires me to make new spreads. So yeah, I'm really excited to get going back in that. So anyways, thank you again so much for watching and supporting my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.